Hello, in this video we're going to start a series that I'm going to call Generalized Linear Models. And this first video is a, a background video on some of the material that we'll need in future videos. Um, the second video will cover the link function. I think the third video will cover the likelihood function. So here we look at the overdispersed exponential family. And really, that involves this parameter here, phi. And otherwise, it would just be a part of the exponential family. And here, so it's uh, the exponential of, of this. So this is uh, our, our y. That's this. This is our canonical parameter. And this is what's called a log partition. It's a smooth function, which means it has uh, the derivatives exist. Um, this is a dispersion parameter. This, this is a known weight. And this is just a function of our, our y and phi. So uh, theta is a canonical parameter. Phi is a known dispersion parameter. Positive, the weight is known and positive. B is a smooth function. It's called a log partition because really B uh, primarily exists to make this integrate to 1 and so you can look up log partition for more detail on that. Uh, C is just a function of y and, and phi. And, and one note here, it's not a function of theta. This is. Okay. So a few notes. So this that's our, that's our density for our data that we're going to assume that we're under. And actually a, I think a pretty important note but underappreciated is that y in this setting um, in the canonical form this is because that's a canonical parameter that's our sufficient statistics and sometimes that this right here is a function of our data like the log of y or something like that where in the G GLM setting it actually just has to be y, our data. And so if we take our density and integrate it over all possible values of y, it integrates to 1. And then if we take the derivative of both sides with, with respect to our theta, or our parameter, this is 0 because it's a constant. And we get this, we take the derivative. Now it's been shown that um, we can pass that through the integral sign, which then we get this. But this side is still zero. Now, and this is for any k. So this implies that it's true for if k is one, the first derivative of this, is, you know, with respect to theta, that's zero. And it's true for the second derivative, so it's zero. Now, if we let L be the log of our function, F, our density, so maybe that's called the log likelihood now, then if we take the derivative of this, it's 1 over F times the derivative of that function, which is this. And this is with respect to theta. And then here, if we take the second derivative of the log likelihood, so the derivative of this, it can be easily shown that it's this. At, you know, the second derivative of f over f minus f prime of f squared. Now notice this piece right here, f prime of f, is actually l prime. So we could stick in l, l prime right there. Uh, number five, if we, oh, let's get number four here. So number four, if we take the expected value of the derivative of the likelihood, that means we stick in whatever's here, which is this, times the density, integrated over all possible y. But the density is f prime over f. So the f's cancel, leaving just the integral of f prime dy. But according to 2, that's 0. 
So the expected value of the first derivative of the log likelihood is zero. If we take the variance, or let me rephrase that, the expected value of the second derivative, it can be shown to be this. Now notice that um, we'll get a, the f's canceled. Normally this there's this divided by f, you know, times the, the density, but those cancel leaving just this. And then minus whatever this second piece is. Now, because of 2, this is 0, and f prime of f is actually l prime, and that's squared. Don't forget the minus out front. But since the expected value of l prime, or the first derivative, is 0, this is actually equal to the variance. So it's the variance of the first derivative of the log likelihood. Now let's look at the log likelihood a little bit here. So if we take the log of our density, we get this. So the E drops out and everything remains. Now let's take the first derivative with respect to theta. So this is, there's no theta, so it's constant, drops out. Here's a theta, and so we just get Y minus the, whatever, the derivative of this. Now let's look at the second derivative, which is the derivative of the derivative. So here there's, it's constant, so it drops out. And then this just becomes the second derivative okay, of our log likelihood. Let's now to calculate the mean of our data, so the expected value of y, um, we know that the expected value of the first derivative of the likelihood is zero, and we got that by number four. But if we stick in the first derivative of the log likelihood here, then that equals zero. So this is a constant, so it can come out and multiply it over. So then we get the expected value of y minus uh, b prime of theta. Well, this is constant with respect to y, so it just comes out. And then that's the expected value of i, whatever it is. But then we subtract that to the other side, and we get this. And I have a playlist called Exponential Family. And there we make use of that the, the first derivative of the log likelihood is the expected value of our, it's actually of our sufficient statistic. But in this case, we're only considering where the sufficient statistic is y. Uh, let's look at let's try to find the variance of our data but by first looking at the variance of um, the first derivative of our log likelihood and then by five we found out that it was this now let's put in what we know this is the first derivative this is the second derivative and notice there's no y's in here so it's constant so we just get this back and then don't forget that those negatives cancel. Over here, this is a known constant, so it can come out squared. And then we have the variance of y minus the first derivative of the log partition. So, but this is constant, so the variant, it doesn't affect the variance. So it ends up, that's just the variance of y. So we come down, okay, so the negatives cancel. Oh, I, one more step. That comes out squared, but this is just the variance of y. And if we multiply that over, we get this. So this is the second derivative of the log partition times our known constants, the dispersion parameter and the, and the known weights. Okay. Um, what do we know about the variance? That it's always uh, greater than or equal to zero. So that tells us something about the, you know, this. Um, and we're going to make use of that in the next video. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.